This hitch installation guide is for a Subaru Forester. The part installed in this video is a Kurt model number 12038 hitch. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. Today we're going to be installing Kurt hitch 12038. Um, we have a total of eight attachment points on the driver's side. We have four going to the frame, one going to the exhaust bracket. On the passenger side, we have three frame attachment points. Okay, let's get started. Let's go ahead and start with removing the tow hook. We'll go ahead and get our 17 millimeter back in the socket. Okay, let's go ahead and get this EVAP canister lowered. We can access the other bolts. That guy will just drop out of the way. We'll go ahead and get our 17 millimeter back in our socket extension here. And the last thing that we're going to need to take off to get that tow hook removed. A 14 millimeter bolt going into the side. Okay, so we're on the last frame bolt here. Kind of have a, the EVAP brackets a little bit in the way here, so we're gonna have to angle our socket in here a little bit, get it wedge it in there, and break it free and lower it down. Okay, so on this e EVAP bracket, the hitch is going to actually slide into this piece here, the bracket, and we're going to line up the holes, and then the hitch will actually compress this back in. So, and in the center bracket here, bumper bracket, the hitch is going to replace this. Removing the fascia clip, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver. It's got nice grooves for it here to get in there and pry it down. We're going to remove the 10 millimeter bolt. And last one, 10 millimeter bolt on the body here. This guy will just slide right out of here. Our next step is we're going to lower the exhaust here. Um, we're going to do that by removing the hanger from the rubber bracket on both sides of the exhaust. And I'm going to be using a exhaust plier tool. Next step is we're going to take this rubber hanger off this hanger bracket and that'll expose the two 17 millimeter bolts hanging there. Now that we have the rubber exhaust hanger out of the way, we can go ahead and take down two 17 millimeter bolts holding the exhaust bracket in. Now we're going to remove the tow hook, but we'll go ahead and start with the two 17 millimeter bolts. And last, the two 14 millimeter bolts. Now we can see that we've exposed our attachment points, the weld nuts on the frame here, here, and here. Okay, now that we've exposed all the weld nuts in the bottom of the frame, those are gonna be our hitch attachments. Um, we need to get the hitch up into place. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the exhaust tip for support. It seems pretty sturdy here while I maneuver the hitch into place on the passenger side. And we need to get the passenger side hitch bracket through the EVAP bracket. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get one of the frame bolts in to give the passenger side some support. Okay, if you're struggling to get the bolt in, you can go ahead and get an extension on your 17 millimeter socket, push up and get it tight set that way. Okay, now that we have a bolt 
supporting the passenger side. We're going to go ahead and finish up the driver's side here. We're just going to raise the hitch up into position, line up the holes. And put the bolt in and tighten it down. Now that we got the thread started in there, we can go ahead and tighten it down with the socket. Now that I got the driver's side done, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the passenger side. And just to note, this hitch does require using the existing hardware. That's what we're installing now. We'll go ahead and get these snugged up with the 17 millimeter socket. Okay, so these frame bolts require 82 foot pound torque. We've got our torque wrench set to appropriately. Let's go ahead and torque them down. Now that we got the hitch bolts tightened down, we're gonna go ahead and raise the exhaust or the EVAP canister back up into place here. So originally the rubber exhaust hanger was on this bracket, the exhaust bracket here, sitting here. Um, now that the hitch is replacing this bracket, we're gonna go ahead and bolt this down to the hitch. Slide it through the pre-drilled hole in the hitch. We'll go ahead and snug that down. Now we can go ahead and pull the exhaust back to the fit. Pull here. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and tighten the hanger bracket down to 70 foot pounds. Okay, the last thing we need to do is get this last rubber exhaust mount back in. Looking at this hitch, it gives you a, a your vehicle a nice sporty look it's got a nice high gloss powder coat finish cross tube goes over top of the exhaust tip here um, we've got an inch and a quarter receiver tube it's one inch one inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter um, we've got the two chain loops here and uh, we have the half inch pin and clip hole or can be used for a locking device um, the hitch is rated for 3,500 pounds trailer weight and 350 pounds tongue weight. That's downforce coming here in your load zone into this load area right here. Um, anything further past that starts to reduce the tongue weight of this uh, of the hitch. Once installed, this hitch will measure 12 and a half inches from the inside of the receiver to the ground, five inches from the pinhole to the end of the bumper, and three inches from the end of the receiver to the bumper. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit uhaulhitches.com.